welcome back to my channel everyone this is serene ads a channel where we promote smartphone graphic designing if you're new here please kindly subscribe and if you are old here thank you so much for coming back in today's tutorial we are going to design this food flyer all right so without wasting much time let's just jump into it so let's delete this test over here and after that let's change the color of our background preferably i'll select this color that's blue black all right now what do we need to do let's just have a look at the flyer so that we do exactly what is here so that we don't miss out anything okay all right so we have this limited cell flyer so the materials that we need we need are this one the pizza and the chicken wing i think that's all okay so let's quickly get these items ready so i'll go to import and i'll look for this item okay so this is the chicken wings all right so let's just import it once we, once we import it let's just leave it here and let's go for the second one which is a pizza Awesome, we got our pizza right here. Let's just put it here. Okay. Now, what we need to do, all right, we need to change the background color of our work and make it white. Once we make it white, we need to import a texture, all right. That texture will use it to fill the work, making the work look classic. So, let's go for the texture first. So we are importing a texture to as well. Alright, so I'll go for this texture and I'll leave the link in the description so that you can go ahead and download it. Okay, so I'll just have to increase the size of it using the relative position tool. Once that is done, I'll just send it to back. Alright. So now we can go ahead and change the background color of our work to white. Awesome. Once that is done, let's come back to this middle icon and reduce the opacity of our texture. Like this. Now, once we've done that, let's lock the layer, the texture, alright? Once we've locked it, let's import a shape and change the color of the shape to yellow. A deep yellow for that matter so let me use the plus sign over here and use it like this so it should be at the extreme ends once we have this let's just expand the shape I hope you are following this tutorial if you are following this tutorial carefully just give this video a like give it a thumbs up all right it will help other people to also discover this video and learn from it as well okay now what we have we have to do next is to put in this cell okay you see the cell it is in some kind of font so let's just come to test and input cell and we will use a font for that one okay make it capitalized then we go and look for the font needed if you need all these fonts, you can join my Telegram group whereby you have access to all these materials for free textures and fonts. And as of the time I'm making this video, we are currently at 1k.99 subscribers. Once we hit 2k subscribers, more graphic design materials will be dropped and be given out for free. Alright, so just go ahead and click on that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you get notified whenever I uploaded a new video all right so let's just look for a font that will suit the design for us okay so the font that we'll be using the name is build titling okay build titling all right so let's click okay then we have it right here like this 
we'll put it at the corner over there then we change the color to dark green so let's go to color and uh, we select dark green like this awesome so once we've done that the next thing to do is probably to make a duplicate of this and remove the color so when we come to color we will tap on a plus sign then move the slider down to this extreme left then tap on ok once that is done we will come back to stroke then enable stroke then we can reduce the width of the strokes to either to or whichever value that is suitable then we adjust it like this we can use the the position tool all right to position it nicely like this then you are good to go now the next thing you want to put there is limited cell so to put a limited cell you put one you just put a shape for that matter a circle and make the color yellow you can put it at the top wherever you want to put it that one you determine it yourself okay and you can send it to the back and bring it up a bit like this it should be above the texture that's all so right after that you can go ahead and input your test so let me just hide this layer so that it does not confuse you all right you input your test like limited Okay, we have limited over there that's that's nice so you change the color to red so just make sure you are following this tutorial carefully and if you have any other question or whatever you want to know just let me know in the comments i'll be glad to answer your questions and reply to your comments so let's make it bold then reduce the size of it and position it nicely into the shape over there all right so i'll use the rotate button over here then i'll rotate it like this once i'm done rotating it i'll just use the position to to bring it back down like this also so right after this the next thing we need to do is to just copy the test over there all right and input the number of our like the customer the, the person that we are designing the flyer for we input the number of the person over here so let's assume the person's number is 0558378971 actually this is my number okay we we'll just input it and we're good to go so I'll just bring it down like this and rotate it well then we bring it here and we'll increase the size just a little bit like 25 there about awesome then we leave it there like that you can bring it down a bit as well then the next thing that you probably want to do is to input the price so the price less the price of the product so let's assume it is okay we are assuming it is uh, 90 Ghana cities okay so we just have to change the color and also use some nice fonts for it so let me just check go to the fonts and get a nice font for this one so I think I'll go with Montserrat Black. Then we'll just put it here like this. Okay. Now the next thing that we are left with is to add shadow to our work over here. 
okay add a little bit shadow to it so the shadow we will use this shape once we import the shape we we'll just reduce the opacity of the shape go to stroke like we always do over here on this channel if you watch several of my videos you should know this by now so once this is done like this we'll just tap on a check mark and reduce the opacity of this Once we reduce opacity, we will just put it down like this. I hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial and if you are enjoying, let me know in the comments, okay? So we send it to the back to make sure that it looks realistic right here. Okay. So basically, that that is it. And if you also want to put in the person's logo, you can put it at the top here okay let me just use some shape to denote that for you okay let's assume you have a logo for the person you can you can put a logo at any place here all right the logo can be there all right but i'm not putting any logo on this flyer okay so basically that is it and i'll leave the materials in the link in the description so that you can just go ahead and download practice and become perfect with it so this Serene Arts and I hope to see you in the next video. Bless up.